Hey y'all. So, uh, today I wanted to share with you guys my current lipstick collection slash lip gloss slash lip liner collection. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. And, oh, looks like one of them doesn't even have a top. Great. Okay, so... Just as an intro, I'm not a pro. I am not a well-versed YouTube content creator. This is not my primary job. Neither is my podcast my primary job. I'm just a regular schmegular person uh, that watches beauty content. I watched a lot of beauty content, a lot of different channels, I mean, which attributed to my spending habits. So here we are now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I'm just going to show my collection of lip products. That's a better way to title this, lip products. Um, very umbrella term. And I am actually gunning to declutter five products. So the reason why I'm gunning to declutter is because, because we're wearing masks again here in Texas we have a Delta variant the Delta variant um, and it's making people sick real fast so at work well everywhere uh, we complied with the mask mandate and then when the Delta variant came Governor Abbott was like you know but you know F the variant um, y'all can not wear a mask even though there's a bunch of people getting sick so personally I don't want to get sick so I started wearing masks again and luckily my workplace requires them as well for their coworkers. Um, so that means like not a lot of lip products get used. Uh, if I use lip products it's because I'm at home and I just need something to moisturize my lips real, real fast because uh, they feel particularly dry. Normally what I use is uh, a lip gloss. For that or it or my lip oil my only lip oil that I have which I guess is a good way to segue into my collection already oh and no I have absolutely no makeup so if you're wondering oh wow you look tired uh, no this is just what a human a human face looks like <laughs> with no makeup on my first product is going to be a lip gloss uh, a lip gloss from Jaclyn Hill Okay, so I watch Andrea Mariano, Matiano, and I love her content because it's very uh, news reporter vibe, where it's like she's just giving you the facts, you know, like her opinion and her take, her hot take on these things, right? When it comes to makeup, which I dig. And what I really like about her channel is she's very focused on the material. Uh, so she understands the assignment, she executes and that's it which is pretty cool i dig that from her because she pulls it off very well maybe that's what it is like i just it suits her it just goes together that format with her that being said our first lip product is from jacqueline hill <laughs> it's from jacqueline hill it's called candy drip um it was 20 bucks on her when I was watching her channel she was like there's really no reason why you should spend 20 plus dollars on a lip oil and I was like oh Andrea I should have came to your <laughs> I should have watched this channel or this episode rather before first before I went and shelled out 20 bucks for a lip oil um, but to be honest I mean I don't regret it would I buy it again maybe and the only reason why is because literally it's the only lip oil I have ever tried uh, but according to her, there's really no differences between any of them. So I'm not in the market to buy another lip oil because I feel like one is sufficient. So should the time come, maybe I'll purchase one from ColourPop. That probably won't cost me $20. I do have quite a few of these Melt lipsticks, the Bullet lipsticks. Um, I have... Oh, actually, no. This... I've decluttered a bunch of them um, because I declutter, declutter, declutter. Our living situation is very tight, so 
I just feel better if I declutter things. It's just being a human, right? <laughs> uh, I don't live in like a really big house or anything, so our space is very limited. Um, so the way that I contribute is I declutter. And besides, I mean, I, I only have one pair of lips, okay? <laughs> All right, so the so it's, so after the these are the five that survived the, the initial declutter. And these bullet lipsticks are in dark room. Oh. Maybe I should declutter you. What happened here? I'm scared. Uh oh. Oh, there's something loose in here. I thought it was the bullet. Oh my god. Anyways, this is the lipstick. Oh, let me do this. This is the lipstick. She's, uh, performed for me that again so that one's called dark room this is the other bullet lipstick in cat suit this is a sort of brown shade which i dig it's very 90s um the next one is lucretia she is a favorite she is definitely like a dusty not a dusty rose maybe like a light mauve pink sort of color the next one is bane bane is a just a jet black color um i really like having a good quality black if you want it in bullet form if you're looking for a black lipstick and you want it in bullet form bane comes highly recommended from me uh if you want a really good liquid lipstick in black i highly recommend lime crimes the velveteen uh their velveteen line this one right here is a very bright pink her name is last kiss and those are my bullet lipsticks my hat my husband says I, ha says I have raccoon hands I think their normal hands are just a little chubby I like them I like my hands <laughs> they do things for me <laughs> you know what I, I think I'm gonna do bullet lipsticks first and then I'll do the liquid lipsticks and then the lip liners well no i'll do it by brand if i'm gonna do it by brand i'm not done with melt we have one liquid lipstick from melt um i really like this color okay she a bad b she is a liquid lipstick from the um vida muerte line she is pretty she is bright the only thing I don't like, though, is that for some reason when I wear it, it kind of tastes metallic-y. And I don't know if that's in my head because the way I'm smelling it right now, I don't, I mean, I don't smell it. I, I don't know. Maybe it's in my head. Maybe I'm crazy. That's likely. All right, so moving on. Since we were talking about Lime Crime, we might as well talk about Lime Crime and their products. So what I have from Lime Crime is these guys right here I have a few velveteen lipsticks and I have a few lip glosses one of my favorite 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 lip gloss formulas is from oh I was gonna talk about Huda Beauty whatever we're talking about lime crime right now we'll go to Huda Beauty next so what I have from Huda Beauty Christ is a uh, a lot of stuff. I really enjoy their Velveteen lipstick uh, formula. It's ve it's very comfortable. The formula is very thin. Most of them are opaque, but the ones that I don't have to fiddle faddle with too much are the ones that I have here for me personally, my experience. The first one is Blue Flame from the Velveteen collection. The I'm not gonna swatch all of them. But I'm gonna swatch some of them. Uh, some of the ones that I think are like just wow. You know? The ones that just shook me to my core. Then the next one that I have from Lime Crime is Salem. This one is like if 90s, if the 90s or early 2000s was a color, it would be that brown color right there. If the 90s were a color, that would be a color for sure for sure the next one that I have is blood moon this is like a and I probably should declutter some of these 
because they're starting to clump up a little. Actually, on what I what I think I should do is probably declutter that blood moon because it's starting to get all like clumpy. For some reason, the hand always works. <laughs> Anyways, but you see that edge, the tip of that doe foot applicator right there? It looks like it's starting to clump up inside the bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to that. So thank you for your service, Blood Moon. I really did wear her a lot. So the one that still hasn't clumped up on me um, is the black one that, oh man, it's so opaque, is Black Velvet from Lime Crime. Man, these, these suckers are so good. Look at that. Straight up. These don't play around on your face. The next one from Lime Crime is Teddy Bear. That one's like a very nice, friendly, nudie color. And the last liquid lipstick from Lime Crime is Saint. This one is a little more, more deeper than the other. They're very close. I feel like Teddy Bear and Saint, uh, but I think Saint is more pink leaning. And those are my Velveteens. Uh, these that you probably cannot get anymore on the website are these these Lime Crime lipsticks, these bullet lipsticks. And uh, like I said, I had a few more. Uh, they got decluttered. This one right here is the color Poison Berry. I, I like poison berry. That's why she survived. And the last one that survived was called is called Heart Eyes. That's this really bright pink one right here. I don't know if you can tell. Let me get my stupid face out of the way. Yeah, it's that guy right there. And she's really cute, so that's why she stays. So yeah. So the next ones that I have are Whoa, what is this? Are those bubbles? Hold the phone. Oh, <laughs> I thought there was something wrong with my lip gloss <laughs> inside, but it was on the outside. Okay, I have quite a few of these um, wet cherry lip glosses. I have four to be exact. You really don't need that, those, that many. Some of these are um, clear, like sheer looking. And the other ones are, they give you a, just a hint of color. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swatch a few of them so, just so you can see what I mean. I'm going to be swatching this orange one that doesn't have a label anymore, but it's the only orange in their collection. And I'm going to be swatching, this one's called Sweet Cherry. I think Bitter Cherry is probably, no, Sweet Cherry is my favorite. Oh, these are just so cute. I really like these. This uh, Naked Cherry definitely is too light for me. If you want to build up, you can to like a very soft color. Otherwise, you can shear them out. That's the really cool thing about this formula. So that's the four that I have on the bottom. You see how, how cute they are? Um, so that's Naked Cherry, Sweet Cherry, and Bitter Cherry. Um, but honestly, if you were to try one, I, I think you'd be converted. It definitely makes you feel like it, they're your lips, but better. But that's just how I feel about them. So, I have one liquid lipstick from Dominique Cosmetics. Uh, this one is the Plumberry. I'm not sure if you can still purchase this from her website anymore. This one is just a very standard formula, in my opinion. It's more drier. Oh look, it kind of looks like, oh no, it doesn't look like Blood Moon. Blood Moon from Lime Crime kind of looks like dried blood, which is probably gross to some of you, but I think it's a pretty cool color. Um, this one is just a very standard, not really that special formula in my opinion. Um, it, it does dry out your lips, uh, so if you have a problem with that, probably not the best for you. and that's just yeah that's just how i feel on the matter i have one lip gloss from kylie cosmetics it's exactly the same formula as lime crime i'm not sure which one is more expensive but i'm willing or if they're the same but um get wh whichever i know lime crime on ulta sometimes goes on sale and on their website themselves 
So whichever one you find end up, you know, having a sale on, you probably don't need the other, so just snag one up and it's gonna be the same exact formula, I promise you. And that is not my opinion, I feel like that's a fact. <laughs> I strongly believe like that's a fact. So I do have two melted matte um, lipsticks from Too Faced. Uh, I really, really like these. This is, for me, it's one of my favorite lipstick, liquid lipstick formulas. They go on so freaking opaque. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at that. That's, that's one of the ones that I have. That one is Drop Dead Red. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh. And it sucks that I can't wear them. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I do have a lip gloss from... MAC. I have the Heart Melter Lip Glass. I wasn't that impressed with this formula. It's very, very thick, so if you don't like that in a lip gloss, steer clear from these. I didn't know this was going to be a review. I have two lipsticks. Oh, well, while we are still on the subject of MAC, I do recommend these. These are very nice. If you're looking for a comfortable formula, um, not your standard bullet lipstick. It's like satin, comfortable feeling lipstick. These are from the line called Love Me. I think they just came out with a liquid form, liquid lipstick formula for that that's under the Love Me umbrella. But these are the ones that first came out. And when they first came out, it was a bunch of like nudes and neutrals and stuff like that. Uh, so I love the formula so much I ended up buying another one. The first formula that I bought was called Coffee and Cigarettes. Uh, this is it. <laughs> She's been loved. Um, and it's just so comfy. It's creamy. Oh, I love these. The other one that I got is Bated Breath. They're so nice. <laughs> so this is Coffee and Cigarettes. This is more cool tone. And then Bated Breath is a little more warm. I do recommend those. They're pretty, pretty pretty good I have one lips oh I'm not done with Mac I have one of those little baby ones <laughs> from Mac this is called twig this is like a very red red pink kind of situation she's right here um, I thought she was gonna be darker so I'm not like a huge fan of her maybe I'll I would have liked her better on I haven't really tried her out this guy right here, look at that. That's a pretty, pretty lipstick. It like glitters. What is that? This is from Kika Milano. It's the Ocean Feel Sparkle Feel Lipstick. The thing that I don't like, uh, you know what? I'm decluttering this. It feels gross on your lips. Like if you rub your lips together, you feel like that gritty feeling. And that's what it looks like right there um let me put that in my like or my faces because it's starting to focus it's this guy right here nothing special the glitters actually make it look a little frosty very like 80s um not a huge fan of how the lipstick looked in the 80s so going bye bye like i literally i see her and i turn the other way it's kind of like that that boss where you're just like you know what today's not the day for you like I if I keep going straight I'm gonna have to say hi to you or smile to you or say good morning I'm just gonna go the other way that's how I feel about that lipstick when I look at my lipsticks and I look at her and I'm just like you know what I don't even want to say hi to you like it's I don't have that energy for you so I'm just gonna turn the other way that's that lipstick for me <laughs> I had to go wash my hands and the ones that I had a hard time you know taking off were the velveteens. Those velveteens have such a staying power. They're strong. They are strong. So I have one, only one lipstick from the Sephora Stories collections. Um, it's called But First Coffee. She's so pretty, guys. And then it's a print on it that says hashtag matte. Oh, so cute. I don't even wear this a lot. But she's pretty. I love her. Dang. Look look at her. She's like this cute little brown. You see all like the discoloration from the lipstick. 
Um, the only thing that got it off was, uh, what is it, the, um, take the day off from Clinique. Uh, it's like a makeup remover for your eyes, but I was like, oh no, I'm bringing out the big guns and using this on my hands. So that's Sephora. Next, I will show you my only two lipsticks from Sugar Pill. I have this guy right here. And see, like, part of me doesn't want to get rid of these Sugar Pill lipsticks because look how pretty they are. The packaging is ridiculous. The inside of them is gorgeous. It says Sugar Pill on it. Um... But that's really the only thing that's keeping me from decluttering these. Like just the packaging. The red, it looks sparkly. This matte orange is so matte. I mean, that's not going anywhere. Um, so if I were to choose any of them to stay, I would probably choose this one to stay. See, like, I don't, I feel like I don't really need a sparkly red because I feel like it or like a glittery red because I feel like it might accentuate the texture on my lips um, that I have so you know what I, and if I want a red I want it to be like a matte red if I ever wanted it to have like a little glistening effect I'll just slap a lip gloss on it and call it a day um, so I guess this one's going but I am keeping the orange one uh, the name of the orange one is called detox but um, it's very matte. You know what, I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile because of just how freaking matte it is. I'll probably have to try it on later and see if it accentuates my lips. I do like a matte lipstick, but like the Sephora one doesn't do that to my lips. It's not de almost dehydrating or anything like that. That one I feel like it's a liquid lipstick in a bullet form where it has the, all the pros of a liquid lipstick and all the cons. Um, but anyways, so I I splurged on something. I splurged on a lip stain of all things. But I've been thinking about this lip stain since I want to say 2017. And I finally bit the bullet last or earlier this year and got one. It's from YSL. Uh, it is in the shade 416. I think that's the name. I saw it on this girl, right? And that's how it usually goes. <laughs> I saw it on this girl and her lips look so perfect all the time. And I was like, man, are those your lips or do you have something on? And she was like, oh no, I bought this, you know, this thing and this and that. And she was like, this YSL lip stain. And I'm like, because it looks gorgeous. And I had a conversation with a girl uh, at work that day and I was telling her, man, you know such and such she's wearing this thing on her lips and it's so pretty and I think I want it but it's $35 or $36 I'm like that's a lot of money to be spending on a lip product and she was like look it if you're oh my god <laughs> kind of just blinked up she said the best person to invest in is yourself so why not and I was like damn you're fucking smart <laughs> so this is so I got it uh, like four eight, seven eight nine ten eleven yeah four four years later I got it but it's this guy right here um it's gorgeous it's I I've had a few lip stains I've tried some not a lot um and they didn't wow me like that one did so I say it's money well spent but that's just me all right, next up, I got these little minis from Becca. You guys are probably like, you said you were gonna talk about Huda Beauty and you still haven't. It's coming, they're right in front of me. These are two of these little mini ones from Becca, um, which you, I don't know if you can get anymore because they're closing down this month. They're just regular lipsticks. Uh, this one, this the Ultimate Lipstick Love. This one is one in Petal, which is a nice little nude one. And these are perfect sizes. You know, honestly, okay. Let me let me throw some thoughts at you. I think they should not come out with lipsticks. I, I think they should reduce the quantities of lipsticks that they put in bullets 
and in liquid lipsticks. I don't think they should sell that much in one bullet lipstick. And this is why. I feel like, or if, if they are, they should have more minis available than full size. This is why. Because one, no one is going to go through that much lipstick in one lifetime before it goes bad. Two, uh, especially in this climate. This climate is special, like it's a really good idea to come out with minis, more, more minis, more mini options than your full size counterparts. And, and I'm not saying they should charge us the same. I'm saying they should charge us less because it's like, okay, they're not spending as much money to make these units, to fill these units with their products, but those prices should absolutely be reflected in the price of the products. You know what I mean? I know it's wishful thinking that we could expect these brands to be so honest. If anything, they'd make smaller product quantity lipsticks and lie about it or don't say anything about it and still charge you the same price as if nothing ever happened. You know what I mean? But in a perfect world, I feel like that would be ideal. And the reason why I'm saying like, don't just cut out um, normal size products and lip with, you know, normal size lip products at all is because there are people who, there are, they're out there. People who have their favorites or they only use one, they, or they have like three lipsticks tops and those are the only ones and they never ever veer away from those and if they go and buy more it's to replace the ones that they've already used up those people that are out there believe it or not and that's the reason why i say um don't do away with regular normal quantity sized lip products because they need to cater to that uh that kind of consumer as well but let me step off my soapbox <laughs> uh in the last becca lipstick that I have is called hibiscus I got these in a oh, and this one's not used look at, look how pretty an unused lipstick is oh, so nice so pretty so glossy I, I got these with a bundle these came in a bundle when I bought a champagne pop highlighter uh, it was the highlighter and those little two lipsticks anyways moving on so fine, fine, fine. We'll talk about Huda Beauty. I really enjoy, like if I were to say, if someone were to ask me, what's your favorite bullet formula? I would absolutely give it to Huda Beauty. Absolutely. Changed my life. I'm just kidding. Um, and the reason why is because these bullet lipsticks are matte and they... I, I feel, maybe it's all in my head, but I feel like they blur out the wrinkles on my lips. Call me crazy. So I have these, I don't think you can get anymore. These are when she first came out with bullet lipsticks. These are after party and cake day. These came, When these came out, there was only three of them. I didn't get the red one. I didn't feel like I needed it. But these guys are like a party in a tube. And these are absolutely the glitter kind of formula that I just said that I didn't like, but these, I feel like they're more flattering on me. Maybe it's the color, but I feel like they're more flattering on me. The other colors that she has that are permanent, from her permanent uh, lines is Spring Break, Bachelorette, Third date, ladies night, pool party, and masquerade. So I'm gonna, these are so pretty. I'm gonna swatch them. So this is spring break. So the first one, I'm gonna show you in order. You know, to, oh, oh, I guess, yeah, it's this way. It's spring break. Spring break and bachelorette. So that is spring break and bachelorette and they're more intense in person i feel like these lights kind of just wash them out uh 
my absolute favorite out of all of these is Joyride. It's a nude, believe it or not. It's in one of my purses somewhere. Oh crap, so I guess I have like a little more than I thought I did. Look how much is left. This is how a lipstick from a regular consumer looks like. Look at that. The usage on that. The usage. And I'm gonna swatch her. I'm surprised I like this lipstick as much as I do because I don't gravitate towards cooler, neutral browns. Um, but it is what it is. This guy is Third Date and Pool Party. So this is Third Date and Pool Party. Not that much difference. <laughs> Uh, did I already do ladies night? No, because she is absolutely brand spanking new. Hello. Now she's not new. So that's ladies night and masquerade, which is my darkest one. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks almost black. So you see, ladies night, masquerade. And I bought a Juvia's Place lipstick because I wanted to see if, because the way that they swatched, the way that they looked, I was like, you know what? I think this might be a Huda Beauty dupe, which could be really good news if you're a fan of the Huda Beauty bullet lipsticks because these lipsticks are $21 a pop. These are not, specifically, I'm not entirely sure how much, but they're definitely not $21. So the one that I end up buying was called Toffee, or is called Toffee. And I think they're very, very close. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like about the Juvia's Place lipstick is that on me, it kind of looks like I'm not really wearing anything. But that's just because of the color. It has nothing to do with the formula. And that's all I have to say about that. I have one Morphe lipstick. I really like the way that they do the packaging. Uh, it looks all futuristic, but this guy is a really bright, bright, ooh, you know what? I think this might, looks a very similar to petrol. Holy crap. So this is the Mega Matte Super Matte in Tees, and this is petrol. This guy right here is petrol. Oh, it looks brown in the camera. What? But it's orange. You see how similar they look? Okay, I'm going to have to try both of these on and see which one I like best because I really, to me, they look exactly the same. So, so far we only have three lipsticks that I've decluttered and I have quite a few more to go through. Not too much, but what else? So I have this mini, I don't even know if it's worth showing it to you, but it's called Pink Power from Lancome. It's from the Shaker line. If you got some of these, you are so lucky because this lipstick formula is top. So why did they decide to discontinue it is beyond me, but some of these brands make really dumb decisions sometimes. Anyways, I have one Anastasia lipstick, bullet lipstick, well, any lipstick. Uh, this one is called Rogue. I really do enjoy this on my lips. Um, it's this guy right here. It makes me feel super sassy. I love that it's matte. I think that bullet lipstick formula doesn't get enough love. Um, it's really comfortable. It's okay. So the Huda Beauty lipsticks have a dimethicone feel to them on your lips so that they're comfortable. So I feel like it has, I feel like the Anastasia formula is like the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty formula, but without the dimethicone feel. Um, definitely on the drier side, only slightly, but I can see how some formulas could be different from others in the, in the way that they could probably accentuate some of the lines on your lips for you. If that's like a huge issue for you, and what I mean is if it's an issue like it's really hard to find a lipstick that accentuates your lines, that doesn't accentuate your lines, that one's probably not going to be it. That probably won't work, run, work wonders for you. 
you'll probably hate it to be honest but that's just my opinion that's just my opinion <laughs> i have two lipsticks from smashbox i really enjoyed these i wasn't expecting to enjoy these as much as i do because they are kind of like natasha denona's cream to powder formula whereas these go on cream and they dry down matte this one is out loud so the first one I'm going to do is Out Loud, and the other one is Hoops On. Hoops On is from the Suicide Girl, Suicide Squad, no, Birds of Prey. They did a collaboration with Birds of Prey, which is that um, Harley Quinn movie. So this one's Out Loud, and this one's Hoops On. I mean, they're really pretty. They go on opaque. I, I love, I like opaque formulas more often than not. I have these little baby ones from Pat McGrath. Ooh, I don't want to blind you, I'm sorry. I have one, ooh, oh no, I put my freaking finger in it. <laughs> I have Executive Realness. Oh, I love these. These are bomb.com. And I have Elson too. Ugh. So pretty. God, Pat McGrath lipsticks, man. They're just so bomb. All right. So this is Elson 2, and this one's Executive Realness. I have one lipstick from Hourglass. It's called You Inspire. So let me give you a breakdown. This little refill, and it's like friend, because it comes with like, the actual holder those things are so freaking expensive so expensive i think like this set was like for all of them or for both of them was 45 dollars. oh here it is here's the holder the holder looks like this and this guy right here is the, the refill so i got the valentine set that's called i cherish and you inspire literally nothing special about these nothing i bet you can get a revlon lipstick and end up with similar effects. Sorry, that was a cat hair. Um, you really would. So if you are thinking about buying an hourglass formula, I would say save your money and go drugstore. Absolutely. So nothing special about these little guys. You see like all these and then they I don't No Nintendo. No Nintendo. Right. So I did buy the collab from Christian Audette and Mel Thompson. I like Mel Thompson. I haven't watched her recently. Uh, I do regret buying this lipstick, not because uh, I hate the formula, but it's because it's just not the shade for me. It is way too light. And so when you put that on your face, you look like somehow you need lotion <laughs> you know like you look like you may not look dry but you look dry i'm not sure if that makes sense ashy <laughs> you look ashy <laughs> oh i do have a liquid lipstick from pat mcgrath this one is the pink desire she just came out not that long ago with these liquid lipsticks and i was just wondering and wondering which one am i buying because i am absolutely buying them i bet they're gonna be a breakthrough formula i bet it's gonna like wow me and all sorts of stuff and let me tell you i like Too Faced better <laughs> i know shoot me so i have from ColourPop the so juicy formula i got this from beachwood say what you want about ColourPop, but they do not uh skimp out on product like i've been using this almost every day and this is how this is what i have left a buttload I got these two lippy sticks from ColourPop. One is Runway and the other one's called, oh, one's Runaway and the other is Infinite Best. They're both MAC X formulas. Um, I'm running out of hand space, so we might have to get creative. The pinker one is Runaway and the other is Infinite Best. The brownie one is Infinite Best. So it's these guys right here. I really like them. Really good formulas. Uh, I really have nothing bad to say about them. I have these from the drugstore. So, oh, 
I have one more from ColourPop. This one is <laughs> Bitch It. Bichette? 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 It's this guy right here. She's like a cranberry. I need to remember to use her. Um, another one from Drugstore is Maybelline Superpower Ink Crayon. This one is in the color Enjoy the View. I like the way they smell. They're nice. They're nice. Um, I have nothing bad to say about them. They're just a regular schmegular lipstick. Really nothing special about them. Uh, it's just a nice color. I'm going to put that right here. Um, and lastly, we have, as far as like lip products that are not lip liners, I have the Cap, or not Cap on D anymore, I guess, but they're the KVD. I have the Lip Toppers, Whoop. Everlasting Glimmer Veil, whatever's. <laughs> So I have this guy right here. I don't think you can get this one anymore. This was like limited edition. This one is called Starflyer. This guy right here is cute. Like a lot of these. Oh my god. Okay. So tip if you're thinking about getting these. If you get these. Wear these with black lipstick. Over black lipstick. Phenomenal. Wow. They are the jam. Um, if you want another idea is like say you get a blue one put on a red lipstick and watch the magic Watch the purpley glittery magic and what I'm saying is like you can make different colors Using the lipsticks and the veils together to see what kind of crazy situation you come up with and it looks really cool I really like these when if you're just gonna go out or if you want to stun on them, you know, that's what I would wear uh, this guy right here, I have a blue one. It's called Reverb. And the last one that I have is Televator. You can also wear these with like matching, matchy, matchy lipsticks. This one's Reverb and this one's Televator. Yeah, the blue one is, blue one is Reverb. Yeah. Blue one is Reverb, this one's Televator. I like them. It like kind of takes your lipstick to another level, you know? And that probably looks gross to you. Oh my god, no, I hope you don't. Oh, people have that thing with the dots. Gross. Let me wash this off, I'm sorry. I didn't realize this might be a triggering video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's so long too. I'll do long swatches from now on. Uh, this is literally the end of the video. And I'm only going to show you the lip, liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D. Um, if you completely hate me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, you probably copped onto it before I did. So, let's be honest, you're probably already gone. So, I do have six lipsticks from KVD. It's these guys right here. I love all of them. See, I'm not going to swatch <laughs> I'll swatch the lip, the lip liners, but those are the ones that from that are from Kat Von D. I really like the KVD liquid lipstick formula. I feel like it's it's one of the most comfortable ones out there uh, when it comes to liquid lipsticks. That's why I have so many. Um, that one and the Velveteens. I literally don't have any other liquid lipstick formula because those are my favorites, and I'm just not. I know what I'm getting into when I get with the other ones. When I buy the other ones, you know what I mean? And I know I'm never going to be happy with them. So, that being said, let's move on to the lip liner segment of the show. Alright, let's see. I do have quite a, they're all, they're, I'm not going to lie, they're all from Morphe. <laughs> You could say that this is a, a Morphe ad, and I probably would say, wow, if that were true, I wouldn't have the space issue that I do because I'd have money for a bigger apartment. So you're just going to watch me go through these to see if there's any that I want to get rid of. Um, oh, this one is dry as F. I'm going to get rid of it. This is from Charlotte Tilbury, the lip cheat in Pillow Talk 3 Intense. Oh, she's cute. She stays. Morphe Frenchie. 
Mm, can barely see her. She can go. Uh, high maintenance from Morphe. Mm, she's orange. She can stay. Yeah. If I can get the lip. <laughs> I don't know what happened. This is from Lime Crime. This one has no top. It's called Sweetheart. I can barely see her. Uh, I think I'll get rid of her. This one is Editorial. I'm not that convinced that I want to keep her. Maybe? No. This one's called Zippy. Zippy is a favorite of mine because I can actually see her when I put her on. She can stay. This is uh, NYX. I don't like the formula, so I'm going to toss it. It's like the speed round around here. This one is Richie. Really dark right here, Richie. She can stay. Shantae, you stay. Colourpop, Venus. You are creamy. Creamy and red. You stay. This is another red called Mina. Not sure if she's written, yeah. See, it's not as good as that color pop. Let's get rid of her. Uh, this one's called Bar. I have a feeling that I might like that one. Yep, I do. This one, I can already tell you it's too freaking light. I don't know why I bought that one. This is white eyeliner. I don't know why it's there. This is Heckle. Ooh, yes. Heckle is right here. And lastly, we have Jinja. Oh, she's cute. I like Ginger. She's up here. So, wow. I decluttered more lip gloss or lips liners than I did anything else, really. I want to say I've only decluttered three lipsticks, and my goal was for five. So, I have some decision making to do. <laughs> All right, so we did say that we we're going to try out these two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my mirror. Oh, by the way, this is a new buy. This is the Tantastic. Tantastic Omega Bronzer from Marc Jacobs. They were having a sale and I have no bronzers, so that's what I did. So I'm going to try this on on the top. Mm, it's not opaque enough. It's almost like she's shy, you know? It might be funny if I end up having to declare both of them because they suck. Ooh. I feel like the bottom one is brighter and it's more, more opaque. Yeah, you can't see the darkness in my lips with this bottom one. So, I guess... If you're shopping for sugar pill, maybe stay away from the lipsticks? I don't know. So that leaves one lipstick. Now, if I were to get rid of lipsticks, the ones that I would not lose sleep over are these. That is the Melt Lipstick. It doesn't wear it doesn't wear off gracefully so you know what I'm just gonna get rid of it this one um, it's the same thing I'm just gonna get rid of it that sucks um, it sucks because I spent money on it and ended up not liking it but that's the name of the game um, okay so I ended up having to I ended up decluttering six lipsticks instead of five my collection is still pretty big if you wanted to take a look at it all right so i ended up decluttering a few more i ended up decluttering uh two more lipsticks since we last spoke but this is my edited collection of lip products in its entirety and i did forget to mention that i have two um stunna lipsticks from fenty this one is I can't even remember the name of this. It's Unveil, it's the soft brown one, and the original Stunna Paint. Uh, this is the, well, it doesn't even have a name on it, but I think it might have been called Unrated or something. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I mean, I that could very well be a lot of lipsticks for one person, and you might be right.
right. Uh, but that's my collection and maybe I'll declutter some in the future. I feel like the next ones that I might have to declutter are the Melt um, Cosmetic ones because they are the oldest ones in my collection, believe it or not. Yeah, so that's going to be it for my video. I'm still trying to figure out this whole um, camera situation. I don't know what I can and can't do when I'm when I'm videoing or whatever, which is probably apparent in my videos, but that's because I'm not a pro. <laughs> um, I'm, I don't know, I guess you can say my videos are very much if a subscriber, like a straight up non-pro subscriber was making videos. This is, these are their thoughts uh, and this is their learning curve, like you get to see the learning curve and all that kind of stuff. Um, just unedited I guess so that's me uh, I do have other things in my collection if you want to see the miscellaneous bits that I have go ahead and let me know no one really asked for this video I kind of just made it preemptively <laughs> um, but yeah so anyways I'll talk to you guys later all right bye sorry I had to change out of my my pants because they were too hot Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. and I just regular oh oh